I've been pretty busy recently and I haven't had time to work on an Arduino project, but this is one I've been thinking about for a while. And it's basically using a joystick and then visualizing those movements. So reading things off of a joystick and then making it so you can see it somehow. So I'm using an 8x8 LED uh, matrix and then I'm just using a basic joystick. I got this actually off of a Guitar Hero controller. And this joystick is basically two potentiometers that give analog readings that the Arduino can read. And I'm going to go a little bit into how the Arduino can read it. So using the analog pins on the Arduino, it can read 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 3. And I accidentally write here 1, 0, 2, 4, um, but it's actually 1, 0, 2, 3. And so it can make these readings by by looking at the two an by looking at its analog pins. And when it's at rest, you're going to see that the um, the joystick is actually 450, 450. And then when you move it around, you're going to be able to give it placement. So that's how you tell where it is. When you look at the back of the board, you're going to see that um, the X and Y go to A0 and A1. You're going to see that in my code. VCC goes to 5 volts, so this is a 5 volt thing, and then ground. So pretty simple. And one thing to know about is um, that you have to play around with the delay. So to get it to work out, I have a delay of 150 milliseconds. Other part is the 8x8 LED matrix. And this one I got as a kit from SparkFun from a company called Link Sprite. If you don't, you have to do a lot of wiring and stuff like that. And so this makes it easier. It also comes with the Mac 7219 IC, which makes it really easy to create something like this. So pretty simple, simple and, off, and uh, on the fly. So how does the matrix work or the 8x8 LED matrix? Well, you're going to have like eight lines of um, eight lines here. And these are the rows and columns when it's laid up on the matrix. But even though it's 8, when you read it into the Arduino, you're going to go from not 8, but 0 to 7. So 7 uh, rows and 7 columns. And then where these rows and columns meet is where an LED is. So the Mac 7219 and the library LED control are what makes this possible, what makes this pro project actually pretty simple. Here's a close-up of the pinout of that kit. And you see VCC goes to 5 volts, so this is pretty simple, 5 volt and ground. You can um, It goes out the same power, so you don't have to worry about power controls and things like that. Data in is DIN, CS is load, and clock, CLK. So um, it's in my code, I'm gonna, I, I'll uh, explain it there, I'm how to hook it up and what pins to use on the Arduino. The next step is how do you get those readings? So you have those readings from the joystick, and then you need to convert it to something that the LED matrix can display. And remember, you have to give a row and a column. So you have 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3, not 1, 0, 2, 4. And then you have the rows and columns 0 to 7. And the trick was just to use a map function inside Arduino. So the map function actually translates those codes so it's um, relative. So when you move a little bit on the joystick, you move the LED up and down. And it's a pretty cool trick. I've used it before. So here's it actually in action. You can see me moving around. When I go up all the way, it moves the Arduino. Uh, it moves the LED matrix. It moves that little button around. So this is a pretty easy project, and it's pretty cool. I could probably People can probably add some stuff onto it um, even more. So... Hope you guys like it. So I'm going to move um, these type of videos over to this channel. And I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hey, thanks. Bye.